Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Marcel Ferreira. I'm Senior Product Manager in the Power Apps Pro Developer Team. And today, I will have a cool demo. I will show how you can create a Power App from your existing API. Okay, so I like to start defining Power Platform. So let me just get here right, and let's move to the first slide. Okay, so Power Platform, it is a low-code extensibility model for Azure, uh, which welcomes everyone, welcomes uh, business uh, users, low-code developers, we call uh, citizen developers, but also professional developers that we also call code-first developers. Traditional developers that use traditional programming language to create applications, okay? And a developer, they do more than just coding, they actually solve problems. Unpower Platform can be a very efficient way uh, to address some business challenges. And this is what we will cover today. But the main point it is Power Platform is for everyone, including professional developers. Okay? Uh, that's why we have Power Platform developer tools. And that's my team. So we build tools such as Pack CLI, which is the main way, is a command line interface, is a, the main way for you to interact with all the components of Power Platform. Uh, we also provide integrations with uh, Visual Studio, for example, Visual Studio Code, and also G GitHub and Azure DevOps, allowing professional developers to use all the knowledge that they have about uh, CI, CD, test automation, and everything else to be more efficient and very uh, reliable, okay? So the scenario that we will cover today, a scenario where it makes sense to use Power Platform, it is digital modernization. So that's the scenario of our demo. Uh, we have a legacy inventor management system. So imagine the developer, they have an API to get data from SQL databases, um, to get information about how many items I have in each warehouse and how many items are available. Okay, uh, But this is a legacy system. I don't have any mobile capability. I cannot see in the phone. So the developer is using Power Platform to create a custom connector, which is a wrapper around the API to make all the data of the legacy system available in Power Apps, providing a better experience for the users. So few technicians, for example, they can check how many items are available in each warehouse uh, on the go when they are on the field. So let's recap the first uh, demo that we have, we will not go over today, uh, is possible for you to create a custom connector within Visual Studio. And when you do that, a custom connector, as I mentioned, is a wrapper around an uh, API, and it uses an open API specification for you to do that. That's a file that describes the API. And if you are using Visual Studio, Visual Studio will generate this file for you in the right version, making your API available. Uh, but if even if you don't have the source code, if you have a, a API that you have access and you have the Swagger or the open API definition of this API, you should be able to use it for a platform as well. And this is what we will cover today. We basically will cover what happens under the hood, how Power Platform generates and creates the custom connector. So let's do a quick recap about how you create that in the inner loop. This is the developer, uh, the API developer, and, and this is the uh, web API source code. Uh, he's using Visual Studio. And here you can see in the project, we are connected to Power Platform already. This API is published. Uh, here you have the endpoint. This is the public endpoint of the API. And here you can see it is connected to Power Platform. Okay. So what we will do is we will open uh, Power Platform, the Power Apps uh, Maker portal, to see the custom connector there. So here we are in the dev environment, and you can see we have the Visual Studio custom connector here, and this is our API. Okay, uh, so Visual Studio generated that for us, and we are also using a solution. You can see the solution called Invent on Hand, and here we have the custom connector. And let me show you the app that we created from this custom connector using our API. Okay, so this is a simple app. It will show all the list of the available items and in where these items are available. Here we have the list of the items, and here we have how many of these items are available in each one of these warehouses. Uh, so this item three, you get the point. Two screens up, and we manually created this okay, from Visual Studio. What we will do now 
is we will create a custom connector, but we will create from VS Code. And VS Code is the easiest way for you to get Power Platform CLI, our command line interface. Okay, Just go to the VS Code, you look for Power Platform tools. Once you get installed, you will have our extension for VS Code and also our CLI, our command line interface. So let's go to the demo. So what we will do now is we will generate the custom connector from the API. Okay. Let's go. So let's first let me open uh, my environment so you can see how many connectors I have. I am in the dev environment, and you can see I have one custom connector. Open to API Visual Studio. Okay. So let's go back to the v to VS Code. Let me close this and let me open my extension. You will see I am already connected to dev environment. I uh, already added my credentials here, so I will open Terminal, and then I uh, have available PEC CLI. So if I type PEC, you will see you can interact with many components of, of our platform. Today we will use connector to create, to list and create a custom connector. So we will use PEC connector list to see what connectors we have available in our environment. We are connected to that environment. Here you can see the Invent API Visual Studio connector. And now we will create a new one. So the first thing you have to do is to use PAC connector in it. This will create a new file, an API properties file. This is a description of uh, per platform properties of the custom connector. We will use default here. Uh, we don't need to add anything as of now. So let's get the open API file. This is our API. I need the open API specification. Uh, so I will download this uh, spec file in my command line. So let me call inventapi.json. And this file describes my API. Okay. All right. I have it here. Now, before we can use Empower Platform, we need to change a few things on the on the Open API file. Let's open here. First, let's change the name. Let's call Invent API VS Code. So we will see uh, which connector has been created from VS Code. And we have to add two properties here. We have to add uh, host, and also we need to add the schema. We are in this scenario. Here we have the endpoint. I will copy and paste to do not do any mistakes. Uh, this is our host. This is our public endpoint, and we are using HTTPS. Okay, you could do that from the Maker portal as well using the UI, but I'm using my uh, my developer hat today, so I'm doing all in the code first manner. Okay, I will save the file, and now I'll use pack connector create to create the custom connector. Uh, we, uh, if you are using PAC CLI and we are not sure which parameters to use, you can always put help in the end, so you will see all the parameters available for the commands. Uh, here, I will need two parameters. One, to specify the open API file, the definition file. And here, I will call the invent api.json. This is my open API file. And I also needed the properties file that I generated before. So prop pf is the alias, and I will add the API properties file. And I want to create this custom connector in a solution. Always use solutions. I will check the unique name of my solution, invent on hand. So I will type here invent on hand. And that should be enough for me to create a custom connector. And this is what Visual Studio does under the hood. Uh, I would like to point out that at this point, we support Open API version 2. So if you are using Visual Studio, uh, Visual Studio will convert for you. If uh, you are not using Visual Studio, you have to manually convert to version two at this point. Okay. So now that we created, let's use pack connector list. And here you can see the custom connector has been created. All right. So let's have a look in the maker portal. I will refresh and the connector should be here. And here we have Invent API VS Code. That's the connector that we just created. Let's check if it is in the solution, Invent on hand. 
And uh, yes, it is in the solution. So that's great. Now I want to show a good thing. Another thing that we can do it is using Pack CLI from the custom connector, we can generate a Canvas app. We can create a sample app so we can learn how to call our API. So we will use Pack Canvas Create. I'm using help so I can see uh, what parameters it has. So I will use here Pack Canvas Create the name of the file, MS app file. This is a file that will be generated in my local environment which is the Canvas app. And I also have to specify the connector ID. And I have the connector ID from the pack connector list that I run before. I will copy and paste. And that should be enough to, for, to create a Canvas app for me. And do you remember? Uh, in the Visual Studio demo, we did that manually. Here we are doing automatically. And you can see the app has been created. Let's load the app in the Power Apps Studio. So I will open and I will select the file from my local environment. That's not the right folder. Let me change to connector and app from API. Here's my app. And another thing that I have to do it is I need to add the custom connector because this has been generated in my local environment. Now I'm in the server, so I will use the Invent API VS Code custom connector. This will create a connection. And now it should be good to go. So here I have a functional app created from my API. You can see it. Uh, we have uh, one button for each operation. We have the table with all the fields. This is all reading from the open API file. Okay. Here I can also test the invent on hand operation. As you can see, it works. Other one, and that's great. That's a great way for you to get started if you want to see how to call the custom connector, not too familiar with PowerFX, for example. I can just uh, have a look here on the screens, uh, check the code in the buttons and how I am calling the API. So for example, let's see here the get. Here we have all the code, uh, how I'm calling the custom connector, where I am storing. Uh, so you get the point, right? It's a lot easier than starting from scratch. Um, and that's the demo that I have today. The point that is we have uh, PEC CLI, uh, which is the engine for all the integrations that we do. And uh, you can automate, you have lots of power with that, okay? And the point made here is that Power Platform is for pro developers as well. Pro developers will feel very natural when using command line interface. And the custom connector, the connector command is in preview, please, uh, give us feedback. Uh, if you have any feedback, please test. Here you have the link for a GitHub repo with all the code used in this demo. There are information there about how you can get a developer plan and create a power platform environment for free. And also information about how you can create custom connectors. Could be from the inner loop when you are in Visual Studio, or could be in the outer loop as well. If you are using another API, as long as you have the open API file or you have the swagger, uh, you can create a custom connector from it. Okay. Uh, please get in touch. You can uh, use this GitHub repo, or you can get in touch with us as well. We are very active in GitHub, uh, in our GitHub page. Thank you very much. Thank you.